How's it going, everyone? All right, this one we're diving into a Coleman HC20 a heat pump that we, uh, as a company, moved last week for the customer. They wanted it in a different location. We moved it, uh, pulled a vacuum on it, extended the line set, ran new electrical, and uh, another technician started it up, recharged it, and now it's uh, over the weekend. They called in, put it in emergency heat because the heat pump wasn't coming on. Um, they're saying there's a code on the thermostat saying high pressure safety lockout. So we're gonna go out and check it out. Uh, let's dive in. So it says normal HPS hard lockout. HPS hard lockout. All right. So we got pressure. Okay. Select HPS hard lockout. Okay, let's see if there's any others. HPS hard lockout is the only one. Lift that up. Okay. Get this down on the true suction line. Okay. All right, so we have a high pressure lockout on this one. I verified in the menu here that there's no other fault codes. So I'm just getting pressures set up and I put a temperature clamp down inside here on the true suction line because we're going to be testing in heating mode. Leave that alone. I'm going to go ahead and reset the power. Okay, so thermostat's off. All right, Coleman HC20, we're off at the thermostat. Now let's put it in test mode. So we're just gonna go to the menu here. We should get a different menu selection now. Equipment status, configuration, modes, fault modes, test mode, select. Um, okay, so we wanted to go into service mode, not test mode. Test mode was for defrost. So we want to test heating. We're going to hit select. Accepted. There it's firing up.
Option A, we're in heating mode. And we'll let this run and see what we get. So as you can see, got 58 subcooling in this thing so far and it's still building. It looks like we just, uh, this, this unit just got moved. It's not new, it's only a four year old unit. Uh, but the customer wanted it moved, so we moved it last week to this side of the house, ran a new line set, new electrical, or extended the line set, and, uh, you know, my superheat is still bouncing around, but well underneath where I would be questioning the TXV. Um, it's cold out here, it's about, about 30 degrees, 28, 30 degrees, so this is okay, but this is not. It looks like we're overcharged. We're gonna babysit it here for a little bit because it looks like it's coming down and evening out. Um, these Coleman's are kind of, uh, I, I think the, the the manuals actually say let it run for 30 minutes, which I think is a standard practice anyway, but it literally says that in the manual. So we're gonna let this thing balance out and see what we get. Um, but this is coming down a little bit, but this is, this is looking a little high. Okay, so now we've been running about less than 10 minutes about seven eight minutes but these numbers are even and out it spiked at the at, at start it went way up high so my next thing i'm going to check we're going to run it through defrost next but the next thing we're going to check is um it kind of seems like the blow is the blower coming on at the same time that the heat pump is coming on because these pressures spiked and then came back down as this, if the, the as if like the blower delayed to come on these pressures spiked and then it came on and they came back down and everything's even and out because these pressures are looking even now we're gonna go check that out all right literature three ton heat pump heating mode it is 30 31 degrees outside so we're gonna go with 30 here I'm not exactly sure what it is inside, but the subcooling should be about 25, 24. I think it's about 70, 75, 65 wet bulb inside, so it's between 65 and 70. So 25, 24. This thing spiked back up again. We're about at 38 subcooling. Again, superheat looks normal. So I know that TXV is feeding as best it can. Uh, it's fluctuating, but uh, you know it's under 20 anyway. Uh, vapor saturation on the low side, 18 degrees. Again, it's 31 out here, so that looks pretty good. Uh, I think we're just a little overcharged. I'm gonna pull some charge out. We're gonna go from there. Bled here. Got this turned out. We're still running at about 54. That's yeah, too high. So let's take some out here. Let's start with a pound. And open up here. Okay, going through the high side here. a little over a pound looking for 24 or 25 Oops, shut off all right so I've taken out a bunch uh, we're calling we're looking for 25 sub cooling it's coming down I might just fine-tune a little bit but we moved it um, and we just overcharged a little bit and everything is looking a lot better amp draw Running about 9.2 amps, 3 amps out of uh, this HC20 3 ton is rated for 19.2, so 50% capacity ish. I think we're good.